Hey everyone, I hope this video finds you well and making the most of your day. If you are new here, I'm Christopher and welcome, welcome, welcome. I am so excited that you decided to click on this video. If you like lifestyle, luxury, skincare product reviews, planning and organization, look no further my friend because this place is for you. So while you're here, you might as well click that little red subscribe button and join the community. And if you're going to hang out with us here on YouTube, you might as well hop over to my Instagram as well. I post there daily and comment back and forth with subscribers, and it's just a great way to have daily connection and further grow the community. So I'll leave my handle right here on the screen, and I would love to catch up with you over there as well. So today I am bringing you a pen organization video, because if you are like me, you never leave a store <laughs> without purchasing pens. And then what ends up happening is you have an explosion of pens around your home and for some reason you can never find the one you want um, even though you have so many. So I'm going to show you how I organize my pens and this is what really works for me and it is really quite simple. So I'm just going to dive right in and show you what works for me, how I do it, and yeah, I hope you find it useful as well. So let's go ahead and talk about pens. and. While we talk, I'll share which ones are my favorites. So I have tried multiple ways to organize, and I finally found a pen organizing kit on Amazon that truly, truly works for me. It lets me see everything that I need, and any pen that doesn't fit in here is not one that I reach for often, so I do keep them in just like a separate pencil pouch because I just don't need them as much, but these are the ones I reach for every single day. What I love particularly about this pen case is that it is separated into three different sections. So you have one, two, three sections, and on each section it holds two different walls of pens. So it just works really well. I think altogether this one holds about 120. Now I know for many of you we have more than 120 pens, which is a little excessive, but you need them. I know I need them. Um, but let me talk to you about how I organize them because I find that pen cases don't work for people who don't organize the pen case well. So what ends up happening is things don't end up back in their place so it doesn't become very useful and you find that you're searching for them through the case just like you did for the cup. So what I end up doing is I break my pens apart into the ways that I use them and then I use my Dymo label maker to go ahead and put labels on them. So as you can see, I have all my Lamy pens in one spot. There's one missing currently because it's in rotation in my work bag. My Sessa V pens, my cloth and paper pens, my Midori pens, which if you're not familiar with a Midori pen, let me just show you. So it looks like this small little bullet pen, but it comes apart, flips over, connects as like this really cool wood so you get the wood in the metal, and it is the most fine point pen I love the Midori pens. I will make sure I leave them linked down below. They're just really, really great. So I have my Midori pens, my cross pens, then my gel pens, and then I keep my Apple pen for my Apple Pro right here, but everything has a label. That way it always gets returned to the same spot and I never have to struggle to find it. On the next side is where I keep all my Papermate flare pens. These are truly one of my favorite work pens and also the pens that I use for color coding. Now here's the deal. I know many of us make keys within our pages for color coding um, as far as like this is a meeting, this is a personal appointment, this is a kid's softball game. Like you have different colors for different things. I end up taking my label maker and actually making a label for each pen and placing it right directly on the pen itself. That way when I'm looking and I'm planning, I can grab the pen that I need and I don't have to worry about flipping through pages and finding my key. By labeling all my pens, I know exactly what they're used for in my planner. So I find that to be like a really great tip. Don't label a page with a key, label the pen with the title of which you use it for. As we continue to go, you'll see that I follow the same format. These are one of my favorite pens. These are the Statler Fine Line pens. They're called the Fine Liners. I absolutely love them. They don't bleed through anything. They come in a great variety of colors. So I have an entire set of Fine Liner Statler pens. These Pentel pens are like a fine tip 
felt marker that I found at a store called Hay while in Amsterdam. I love the color wave of them and I've just really enjoyed using them. I have to be careful with them because they do bleed through, but I sign a lot of cards with these and use them for a lot of like harder cardstock type paper. These are my Tombow pens that I have bought individually. These Tombow dual brush pens have the brush tip and the fine tip, and these are colors that I selected because they didn't come in a pack. Now with the rest of my Tombows, I just leave them in the case because I find the cases are really nice for these, and I usually work through a lot of colors and I just like having them in their case. These are one of the only pens that I'll pull out that aren't really in this case that I do use really frequently. And I'll tell you, if you're going to invest in a Tombow set, the grayscale set, I love so much. And in the third section, once again, one of my favorite pens ever are the micro line pens. These pens are really great because they come in a variety of tip points. So you'll see that I have them arranged from smallest to greatest, from my 2.5 black to my 5 millimeter black. And then all the color ranges are always a 0.3 millimeter. Um, I really enjoy these pens. Once again, this is a pen that doesn't bleed through anything. And I also love having the versatility of using multiple points of black ink. Lastly, my last section over here literally has a handful of black Papermate flare pens because they are also my go-to pen. Some ballpoint pens that I picked up at a store in Antwerp, Belgium. And then lastly, my Sharpie pens. I love the Sharpie pens. Once again, it is the way to get the fine tip Sharpie without it having any bleed through on your paper. These pens are really, really great. I particularly love the stainless steel model. I find it looks really sleek and professional. Plus, I feel like it has a little bit of a better weight to it when writing. So, when I'm planning, this case has made it really easy to work with. I simply grab it, unzip it, and I have all the pens I want in sight, and I always make sure to put them back exactly where I found them. That way I am never struggling to find my favorite pen because I always know it's in its place because I've labeled and marked its designated spot. Now, during the week, I often on Sundays will reload my pencil case with the pens that I'm currently using in my planner because I like to switch them out. And I have found the most amazing pencil case and I love it so much that I have to share it with you. It is by the brand Oh My Bag Amsterdam. I found this in a little store when I was shopping in, it was actually Antwerp, Belgium. And it is the best pencil case. It is the absolute perfect size. Tombow brush pens fit in here. So a pen that is that long will fit in this case, as well as any other pens and accessories that I need fit in this case. And what I love about it is the leather is so fine. It's almost like a Louis Vuitton Vachetta leather. And you can see that it gets so used and it's getting scratched and nicked. The patina is starting to show through and I'm actually loving the character that it gives. This has become my favorite pencil case. Like I said, I reload it Sunday because I do all my planning on Sunday. So I reload it with all the pens that I have used and then I carry this with me during the week and then on Sunday I switch them all out based on the pens that I use. That is a system that works really well for me. I take them out, I put them right back in their spot within the pencil case. That's the way that I've been able to rein in all of my pens and keep them really organized and they're no longer floating all over the house and I'm able to find the ones that I want when I want them. I'll leave this pen case, my large pen case, also the pens linked down below. I will also throw in which label maker I use. If I forget anything, just ask because I answer every single YouTube comment. So that is my video for you about organizing your pens. This is a system that works for me. I hope it's a system that works for you. In the meantime, I will leave this video like I leave all of them. Take care of yourself, take care of others, and be kind. Kindness is free. Give it to everyone. Until next time, bye-bye.